just really excited by people. Oh, fucking hell, that sounded creepy. I'm not trying to hit on you. I didn't think your smile meant anything. I'm. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna. I find it pretty much ungraspable that every single person is a whole person. Ugh, sorry, bear with me a second. Like, everyone who I just saw at the station, and the people in every one of these houses, this guy who's walking past right now, he's got his own entirely unique and monumentally gigantic kaleidoscope of memories and thoughts and opinions. And he's got his own twisted insecurities that are caused by those memories and thoughts and opinions. And those memories and thoughts and opinions have been shaped by other equally confused and complicated people. <laughs> he's got memories of insults from years and years and years ago that it would be so much easier if he could just forget. While at the same time he's forgotten beautiful things that people have said to him. He's got secret things that he wishes he could scream at his family. And everyone has had a confusing as fuck childhood. I learned a long time ago that I can love anyone once I've seen their vulnerability. But then, if everyone's vulnerable, <laughs> it's too much. Even bad people, or people who I think of as bad, once you think about the reasons behind their actions, you can kind of forgive them. And even they become beautiful, in a way, because deep down they're probably just being a dick because they're scared. I just feel like I'm rushing past all of this life, and I can't hold on to anyone, or even scratch the surface. Even the people who I have, I don't delve into them enough, I don't ask them enough questions. It's, it's thrilling that everyone is so dazzlingly complicated, but it's also really dizzying and scary that I'm never going to be able to fully appreciate it. When I shouted wait just then, it's just because I couldn't stand to let another person just slip past me. I think I'm just really baffled by people. I'm sorry. <laughs>